Hi all, Ashley here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm coming on as part of Pink Fresh Fridays to share a project featuring Pink Fresh Studio product. Um, I have a lot of their product, um, but I thought I would focus on um, what I've made or what I have from the last two months. So this is my scraps and remaining die cuts and stuff from the best day, as well as some stenciling I did with their butterfly cut file um, or butterfly die. I made that a while ago but I haven't actually used that on a project yet because it just hasn't quite fit on anything um but anyways we're going to see how much of this we can use up today uh and I'm going to start with the base of a mini album so this is a heavyweight piece of chipboard um 4.25 by 4.25 um and I'm just going to go ahead and line this because um, I didn't have that many large pieces left over from the Best Day collection. I am going to line this with just some plain pink cardstock, so that way I'm not... Uh, I, I want to use up most of the scraps in the pages, not necessarily on the cover, which I know I'm going to um, embellish a lot anyways. So here um, I've just lined the paper, um, nicked off the edges so it'll fold over easily. Added some double-sided tape and we'll continue to line this. I also always um, score along the edges before I fold up on the cardstock so that way you get a nice fold. So I'll do that for both of these. I do think one of the easiest ways for making a mini album is binder rings, so that's what I'm going to do today instead of necessarily any kind of hinge binding or needing to worry about a spine. Um, so I've got my base basically done, um, and I'm going to go on to um, my other elements here. This is the stitches die from Pink for Studio, and I'm going to cover the my cover with it. <laughs> I'm also I was just going to trim it using my trimmer, but you know, this is kind of like a little extra thing. You don't have to do this, obviously, but I didn't really like the way it looked when it just was cut normally. So I'm going to use my square stitches die, also from Pink Fresh Studio, um, to get a really nice edge here. Just a little extra thing. Um, and then that fits like really nicely. So now um, I'm going to kind of experiment here a little bit with the cover but I'm not going to glue anything down I do love the way that this looks I think it's super pretty um, I don't end up actually doing it that way but um, I think I'll have to make something else where that's how I um, you know how I kind of maybe like a box or something where that's how I decorate it um, so I'm lining the inside papers here or um, the inside of my cover and back for my album and like I said, I'm going to use binder rings to attach this book together. So I'm going to go ahead and hole punch an inch away from both ends using my crop it out punch. And I will also use some eyelets here to finish this off. Repeating the same thing on the back as well, again an inch away from both sides. And then I think I cut it like half an inch um, deep. Okay, so then now for the pages. Um, so this book is 4.25 by 4.25, so the pages can um, ideally be 4 by 4. Um, I will be making sure that the width of everything is four inches, but the length to me doesn't really matter, right? Because it, it's okay if I've got a varying amount of, of, um, pages, it'll be kind of like, it'll add some interest. It'll be, um, I'll be able to use a little bit more of my scraps. <laughs> um, so like this one, for example, this one's obviously not four inches long, but that's okay. Um, I... I'm just gonna kind of finish that up here. Again, trying to make as many pages as possible. And you can see a lot of the papers from the Best Day collection. I absolutely love this collection. I've already made, I think, like four or five mini albums actually from this paper pack. So 
Um, yeah, it's, I've gotten really good use out of this collection. I think the colors are very pretty. Especially for a fall collection. Um, because I'm not a huge fan of orange. So, um, so having a fall collection that doesn't have only orange in it is really nice. Okay, so here's kind of where I landed in terms of all the pages. Um, so I was able to get quite a good amount out of that. And um, I did go ahead and off camera stitch all of them on the bottom. And then now we will move on to the fun part of embellishing. Um, I have also already added the binder rings here too. So um, I'm gonna pull out what I've got left from the sticker sheet. Uh, the chipboard flare, puffy stickers, enamel dots, whatever I've got left from this collection, we'll try to, you know, get some use out of that here. And you can see me fidgeting with how I embellish pages. It takes me a really long time. Um, I do kind of overthink things a little bit, but that's just my process. So... Uh, using that stamp image, again, one of those chipboard flare pieces. Got, these are my remaining puffy stickers that I've got left. It is a little bit harder for me at this stage in a collection where I have used up all my favorite pieces already. <laughs> so now i um, just trying to use up my remaining elements can take a little bit longer. This came from the, one of the ephemera packs, and I'm glad to use that one up. Sometimes some of those larger pieces take a bit of time to find a good spot for them. And I am keeping the embellishing relatively simple, so I'm not going to go super heavy on all the pages. I just want to add little touches here and there. Like this is an example of that where... Um, you know, I'm just adding a puppy sticker on top of the original image just to give a little bit of extra interest and dimension and we'll add a little um, enamel dot, but I just think that is just a cute little touch. And so I'll continue to do that here on several of the pages. That fussy cut piece, that fussy cut like blue rose, I try to use it multiple times and it just is not going to get used, <laughs> um, but that's okay. It'll find a home one day. Um, I'm nearing the end of the puffy sticker pack here. I don't know if I already mentioned that. Sometimes with voiceovers, I forget what I've already said, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I am excited to be at, like, you know, I, I don't usually use up fully like it. Um, how shall I say it? Like I, there's usually a few pieces left over from every ephemera pack or every pack in any collection from any brand where it's like, I don't, I, it's just going to have these last few bits left. I don't know when I'm going to use these up. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that I can actually, you know, the last few of this one is just leaves. So those are going to be pretty usable. Um, so I'll be able to completely use up that pack and I'll, um, try to link in the description below um, information on everything that I've mentioned today. Um, a lot of this is on scrapbook.com and on pinkfreshstudio.com, so depending on your preference, um, I'll link some of the dyes that I've used and then this collection. Um, also, um, separately. Uh, I think their next collection, Holiday Magic, I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but I am unboxing that on Monday. Um, that one is also available. So this is uh, my last project with the fall collection before we move on to Christmas already, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, we'll start Christmas here pretty soon. Okay, anyways, um, so let's go back to the cover. Like I said, I didn't end up using that butterfly. It was really pretty and everything, but I don't actually feel like it matched the inside of the book that well, so I am going to go with something else. This is the Folk Edges die, I believe, circle die. Um, and I cut this out for a different project, but I didn't ever end up actually using it, so I'm going to try to go ahead and use it now um and i do like how that looked against the stitches die um sorry if you can hear any background noise i can 
<laughs> Here out my window, there's a lot of noise. Um, and then now I'm gonna just finish up the sentiment and add lots of little touches here and there. So even that like little sliver of purple from one of the scraps, I just think that's a nice little touch. Um, you can barely see it in the end, but <laughs> I, it, you get that little peek in, I think that that looks really nice. Um, I also, I think one of my favorite papers from the collection is um, that green, this green paper right here. So I'm gonna include that, include some blue because there's a lot of blue on the pages. So just trying to pull in several of the colors that are inside the book and featured in this collection a lot. Um, <laughs> you can see my enamel dots to the side there where um, I didn't use any of the yellow or orange ones. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I, uh, I've i got some of these pink flow, uh, flink, flink, pink leaves, fussy cut out, adding those in, adding in that mini tag, love tag. I love how that came out. I love how that cover came out. And then we will do a really quick flip through. You've seen probably all of it, but just some extra little details here. I hope you guys like seeing um, the process for today. And I'm excited that I used up pretty much, mo I used up all of my large pieces of scrap paper. I've only got some tiny pe um, pieces left over, which I'm fine with that. Um, so yeah, glad to get another full project out of this. And I hope you'll check out the description for more information on what I've mentioned today. And um, I will see you guys uh, on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.